everyone happy Monday oh my goodness I already filmed a video and iMovie just does not like it so here we go again I'm doing another one it's not on the same topic I still am holding on to hope that I will salvage that footage and I'll just be able to use it on another Monday and you guys won't know the difference but anyways today our scripture of the day I have two because I wanted to give you guys something to hold on to just some real like strength drawing scriptures that when life just comes in that you can just say these to yourself and just repeat it until it sinks in and you believe it and you have that faith encourager so anyways the first one is Psalm 46 5 and it says God is in the midst of her she will not be moved God will help her when the morning dawns and then the other one is Proverbs 31, 25. It says she is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. So these scriptures are great for reminding yourself who you are and what God's plan for you is. God is in the midst of you, and you will not be moved. No matter what the circumstance, that is a blanket statement. You will not be moved. And then Proverbs says that she laughs without fear of the future. So God's plan for you is to have joy and laughter and not worry about tomorrow. Because then we can jump back to Psalms where it says, God will help her when the morning dawns. I just wanted to share these really great strength building scriptures. So I went ahead and decided to use them as the daily scripture today. And today I wanted to talk about emotions. I was inspired by something that my pastor said. He said that emotions are not good leaders, but they're great followers. And I want to first touch on emotions are not great leaders and say that our actions are not justified by our emotions. Statements like, well, I was mad, I was sad, that doesn't give you justification to act out of those emotions. I feel like society tells us that's okay, that you can be sassy because it's a sign of strength, that you know when your man says this to you and you've just had it, you're justified and you know, in doing the little head bob and wagging your finger and saying whatever your little sassiness comes out of your mouth, and I'm here to say that is not biblical, sweetheart. That is not, we are not, as women, we're not created to be, you know, I think a lot of people who aren't Christians think that the Bible is outdated and it talks about women in this very lowly manner that we're just baby making servants. But the Bible says she will not be moved. She is clothed in strength and dignity. So that's not true. Christian women are destined to be strong women. But part of that strength is not being ruled by your emotions, by having the dignity to contain your emotions and realize emotions are based on circumstances. But we are not ruled by circumstances because we have promises of the future. So what's happening now doesn't determine who we are and how we react. We react based on the promises that God has given us and the strength that we draw from that. So then I want to follow that with they are great followers. And that goes right along with what I've been doing, just ignoring the negativity, shutting up that nagging voice in my head that tells me that I'm not doing things right, that I'm not good enough, that I'm not smart enough, that I'm not fast enough, just whatever it is that that voice that says that bad things are happening, you know, that life is hard, that I'm tired, you know, just all of the, whatever that little voice is in your head, I have that too, and it is not nice. And so just silencing that and choosing to be happy, and when I hear that voice say, no, I'm not gonna listen to that, that yeah, life might be hard right now, but God has given me strength to deal with it, and just being excited about that strength, and just being proud that I can handle it, and that if I sit there and I worry about all the bad things that are happening or could happen, then to me that's weak. That's, that's letting everything influence me, but I'm stronger than that. I have this armor that everything just kind of slides off and I can just stand there and be proud of myself. So when you choose that, those emotions follow that. So when you choose to say, you know what, 
I'm not going to be upset that I'm tired and I'm not going to wallow in that and feel pity for myself. No, I'm going to get excited that I'm still awake and I'm still powering through it, that I am a strong enough woman that I can handle this tiredness, that I'm going to keep doing little things that I can and I'm going to be proud of every single little thing that I do because I'm tired and I'm still doing it. And then those emotions follow that because you do something and you look back and you are proud and you're so happy that you're still doing stuff and that even though you're tired, tired you're still going and so I've seen it it's true your emotions do follow what you tell them to follow as Christians we are in control of ourselves we're not flippant we don't have to just go with whatever comes at us we're not blown around by the wind the Bible says she will not be moved you can stand firm in your happiness and you can have that you don't have to be sad because something sad comes to you. You might experience it, but you don't have to stay there. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. So you determine that you're going to have joy and you're strengthened and you have that joy to get through whatever it is you're going through. So this Monday, put on your armor. Be ready for whatever comes at you and don't let it sway you. Don't let all of the things that are going to come through in your Monday, your Monday tiredness, your Monday stress, that's not yours. This Monday, you are strong and you will not be moved. You laugh without fear of the future. And I will see you guys tomorrow.